What's up you guys, Luke here, and I wanna give you the three best 2019 SEO tips. My first tip is be relevant. I know this isn't a technical tip, but it's the most important thing to keep in mind when you're performing tasks related to SEO. Be relevant. If you're ever searching on Google, or if you ever have a question, and you ask Google, hey Google, how fast do, does a hawk fly? And it gives you an answer about a pigeon or a cheetah. That's not relevant to your search. You don't wanna know that. You wanna know how fast do hawks fly? So. Google knows this as well, and they want to show you an answer that you actually want. The reason they want to show you an answer that you actually want is obviously so you would use Google more. So you need to be relevant in order to get your answer in front of people who are searching for it. Google's not going to rank it for something that it's not related to. Back in the day, people used to keyword stuff their websites a lot. They used to just throw all the keywords they could onto the website and hope that it ranked. It was like you got points for how many keywords you had in your website. That's not how it works anymore. Google now understands things like relevancy, organization, and it knows that if you just put a bunch of keywords in your website, you don't necessarily have the best SEO and you might not be relevant. This will bring us to our second most important tip, which is be organized. If you're relevant but not organized, Google's not gonna be able to tell people about your answer because it's not going to be able to tell that you have an answer. Being organized is about putting title tags where they need to be, putting P tags where they need to be, having a nice layout of your menu. You know when you're, again, searching on Google, let's say, and back to our hawk example, and you say, hey Google, how fast does a hawk fly? And then you know when you're searching and at the top, it has a little paragraph that's separate from the rest of the search results. It's able to get that because the website that's providing this answer is highly organized. And so the Google bots can crawl the website and know immediately, hey, this is a very important piece of this website. I'm gonna put this on our, on our search results as an answer snippet so that people don't even have to go to your website. I know that sounds like the opposite of what you want, but since Google is doing this stuff, it might as well be your answer there. And so you, people can click through and read more about everything you know about Hawks. If your website isn't organized, you're never gonna get that snippet. Similarly, with location or images, if you aren't organized in the way you display information and the way you code information into your website, Google's not gonna know what to do with a lot of the information. Therefore, you might miss opportunities that you might otherwise have gotten if you had been more organized. The hard work is coming up with a good, valuable answer to someone's search query on Google. Don't drop the ball then when it comes to organizing and displaying that information in a way that a robot can easily understand it. Because at the end of the day, when we're trying to play this SEO game with Google, we're essentially conversing and going back and forth with robots. Robots need to understand our information so that they can show it to other people. My third most important tip is to get as many direct website visits as possible. SEMrush has done a study. They took 200 and something thousand domains and they tried to figure out why did these certain domains rank where they ranked. But the number one ranking factor that they found was direct website visits trumps everything. Everything. Even having better SEO. A lot of the companies or a lot of the websites that ranked in the second and even third position on Google had better SEO than the website in the number one position, but the website in the number one position had more direct website visits. Direct website visit is when someone goes to the URL, URL searcher or Google, and actually types in 
your website's name with the .com, .net, .org, whatever, and doesn't actually perform a Google search, but goes directly to your website. Those count more than other SEO tips or tricks or anything else. I think this comes down to marketing, to telling people about your website, and to having a constantly updated, fresh blog that people want to come back and read again and again, or a store. They have it a little bit easier. Websites that aren't constantly renewing content are probably not going to get a lot of direct website visits. However, if you can come up with new content all the time, new videos, new blog posts, if you come up with new items a lot, or if you provide a function that people need to come directly to your website for a lot, I would never suggest ignoring other SEO factors, but you can ignore the rest of the SEO factors a little bit more because you have all this direct website visits. A lot of this can happen through marketing or sales even. So those are my top three. Be relevant, be organized, and get as many direct website visits as possible. Thanks guys, see you next time.